Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today a quick video to share with you that free text slice that we just added to our free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can load the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the TRFX file and the font. If you've already installed the Freestarter pack in the past, no need to reinstall the font. But if that's the first time you're installing the Freestarter pack, make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci doesn't know what font to use or replace it with. So we'll get a black screen. So make sure to install all the font, that's very important. Just select all the font and then you can just double click on them to start the installation process or you can just drag them directly to your font folder. Once that's done, you can go over to the TRFX file and double click on it to start the installation process. If you've already installed the free starter pack in the past, it will just ask you to overwrite to basically update it. Otherwise, it will just offer you to install it. So just select that and then you can go over to DaVinci Resolve. All right, so once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Titles, Video to Studio, and then you can just scroll down to the free starter pack. And in the free starter pack, you will find it under Styled text then here you have the text slice you can then just take it and drag it here in your timeline now let's play it as you can see right now we're dropping a few frame so a quick workaround is to just go over to playback and then here in render cache select smart it will just bring that bar that will turn from red to blue once the title has been fully cached in and when the title has been fully cached in you'll be able to play it without any drop frame so it will just play smoothly without any issue. Now let's check into the inspector what you can do with it. So as you can see here, we have control over the animation length in a second. By default right now, it's two seconds when it's coming in, but we could decide to have it quicker by selecting one second and then basically your animation in and out gonna be a lot faster. So you can just play around with that and adjust anywhere between 0.5 to 5 seconds. Also, you can play around with the style of animation. You have the animation in and the animation out. Right now, as you can see, the animation in is a zoom in and then the slice is happening. And then we have the animation out that is a fade. That's what is display right here in the inspector. You can play around with those. Right now, for example, we can choose to have no animation at all at the beginning and just having the slice we can choose to have a pan left for example and the slice so on and so forth if you don't want to have any other animation you can just do none and none and you will just have the slice happening but the title will stay on screen without animation in or out so you can play around with those combinations to get what you want. Right now, you can also adjust the slice. You can play around with the slice angle. So you can just adjust basically the direction in which the text has been cut. At any moment, you can just double click on the parameter that you want to reset it to the default value. You can play around also here with the slice height and basically the spacing between uh, the two worlds. And you can also here adjust the slice displacement, meaning the horizontal displacement between the bottom and top text. Then here you can adjust the text itself. So you have control over the position, you have control control over the size, uh, you can write whatever you want, you can change the font, tracking, etc. We also have the shadow, the glow and the background. I'm just going to bring some footage below it to show you that. So let's just drag this for example. And right now I can add some shadow by going over here to the shadow tab and we're going to increase the shadow strength. And as you can see right now, we are having a shadow that is appearing behind our text. We can play around with the drop angle of that shadow and we can play around with the drop distance. So as you can see here, as I increase the distance, we have more space in between the actual text and the shadow that is being casted. So here I'm just gonna adjust, for example, the angle and then we can also adjust the blur to have some sort of dark cloud basically behind your text. So this could be helpful to help your text just pop from the background to have that shadow right here between the text and the footage. Then another stylization that you can do is here with the glow. So you can increase the gain and you can increase the threshold to have your text basically glowing. So you can just play around with those different values. You can play around with the glow size to have more spread 
or two a bit more focused on the text and then you can just play around with the overall blend which will be basically the overall intensity of the effect and then lastly we have a background by default right here it's at zero but if you increase the opacity to one you will get a solid background so you can have it at 0.5 for example to have it create more separation between the text and the background and make your text pop more there is so many things that you can do with those you can change the color etc so yeah there is a lot you can do with that you can also invert it to create a vignette and play around with the border width and the soft edge but that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what kind of title we should create next and see you next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates built only for davinci resolve Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.